in this case we have this laptop and we are going to replace the um, battery the battery is bad so here we have the new battery so in this case when you have the laptop I don't know if, if you have maybe something else on your laptop but if, if your laptop is not turning on when you are plugging into the wall uh, try to unplug the battery if you unplug the battery and it's coming out great that means the, it's the battery otherwise it might be something else with the motherboard so that is the, the case with this uh, laptop I'm going to show you so that way you can see this so as you can see here I just unplug this and I can turn this on and we will have a image you will see there we go I'm going to unplug it so that way you can see it quicker so if I plug this in back again there we go I plug this in here and you will see now that it will not turn on at all so I see and push the button here and as you can see nothing happens I push I keep pushing pushing the button nothing nothing so that is the, the problem with this laptop so as soon as you unplug it everything will start working just fine and that is the the solution for this so I'm going to plug this in again so that way you can see we have we have image we're going to push the, the button again we have the light right away now we are going to unplug it so the way the operating system will not get damaged and that's it so now all we have to do is we have to remove the the screws or whatever we have here holding the the battery in place in this case as you can see this is the the new battery and uh, here we have the holes for the battery so in this case we have two we're going to replace these two remove the screws one and the other always don't unplug anything on the laptop if you have the power or, or the battery is plugged in because that will damage something so in this case we have one more screw here on the side another one here There we go, and these two screws, I think is it, it comes in the case, so we're going to put this on the way. Thankfully, there is no glue or anything like that, like the iPhones, so we should be able to put this back in. There we go, we, we push this in here. And there we go. Now we're going to put the batteries. So this is very quick. And in order to remove the um, the case, the cover is very easy. You have few screws, and you just take it out all out, and you have almost instant access to it. Now we have the two screws here. Remember to plug this in. Make sure that you don't have any static on your body otherwise use anti-static gloves i made another video about that now we're going to plug this in again and we should be good so now also i'm going to clean this up before i deliver it to the customer so we have power here and as you can see we have a light here so we're going to have image even if I unplug it the computer will still work you see that is the solution for now so now I have to wait until the Windows boots up and as you can see here we have the plug and if I unplug it is it disappears so everything is working just fine Now I'll go here, shut down computer, and that's it. So now we we have done this. We can unplug it from here. We have all the screws. And remember, before you unplug anything, it's better if you unplug the the battery. You see, <laughs> it started spinning. 
after a little bit so good right we don't have anything now so all we have to do here is you have to look for the screws we have one screw here uh, here we have a few more so I'm going to try to remove this as you can see these are smaller so the, the one that goes into the motherboard alright I just removed these cables from here we have another screw here on this side and we should be able to remove the the fence I mean if, if we can re remove the fan without removing the um, the heat uh, the heat sink I prefer doing that otherwise we can remove the whole thing so it depends on the laptop great so we have one plug here as you can see it's all filthy and we're going to do the same thing here right yes you can pull this out with your nails and that should be a good now we have dust here so i'm going to go outside to blow some air on this and as you can see here we have some dust not not too much but as you see sometimes you can open the hinge and then you can blow air from here and that should do the the trick all right as you can see now we're going to grab this All right, we are back. So now we can uh, start plugging things in. I'm going to put the screws, like I said before, in this case, it, it wasn't necessary to remove this. Also, the, this laptop is not that old. Otherwise, if it was maybe like 10 years old or something like that, yes, I, I may remove everything else to clean up um, the heat sink and, and everything else, like to replace the thermal compound. But in this case, this computer is, I think is two or three years old something like that so that will be you no know, the case for at least for this so now all we have to do make sure that we have it in the right place and then we're going to connect everything now we can try to do the same thing here you can use your nails or you can help yourself with a screwdriver make sure that the screwdriver is not sharp in this case it's all rounded so it's, it's fine no, I'm not cutting myself or anything like that or damaging the, the cables so we should be good now we're going to lift up this side that you see here and then we should be good now we are going to put the, all the screws back we're going to get this to the customer all right we're going to put the connect the battery back again there we go we don't have any screw lift i think I, yes i have this one always make sure that you have all the screws there we go here 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 i don't see any i put all of them here i want to make sure that i have all the screws and now we should be able to put the cover back and that's it so the cover is very easy it comes 
So as you can see, very easy. We have one screw in each place. I'm going to. So as you can see, I have the screw in each place, so all around it. So now we're going to put each one of them, and then we have the two in the two secret places. Alright, now that we have all the screws, now we have the two secret places that you're going to see. So it's here in the middle. And that's it. So we have a working laptop right now. Open this up. Before it wasn't turning at all, so it was completely dead. And now it's working just fine, like I said uh, before. So now we can put this in and that's it. So we have power. So as you can see, I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in. We have power, everything is working. So now we can deliver this to the customer. Hopefully you have enjoyed this class. If you have my, any more questions, please let me know in the section below. If you want to hire me, if you want me to fix your computer for you, also, all my information is in the video description and see you in the next class. Bye.